Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm starting off by moisturizing and priming my face. This is going to help to create the perfect base for your foundation. And for my foundation, I'm going in with the Dior Star Foundation. This is my new favorite foundation. I love it so much. It's very hydrating, very luminous. It applies and blends onto the skin like a dream. So I highly, highly recommend this foundation if you have dry skin or if you want a very luminous, not so matte foundation, this one is perfect for you. And before I go in with concealer, I'm going to apply the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This is going to add some luminosity and a healthy natural glow and also prevents the concealer from creasing. And now for my concealer, I'm going in with my favorite Too Faced of Born This Way concealer and I'm just applying that under the eyes and to the high points of my face for my highlight. To blend out my concealer, I like to use the Morphe E8 brush. It's a slim, dense brush and it blurs out the concealer and gives it almost like an airbrushed effect. I love using this brush under my eyes and to blend out the concealer on the rest of the high points of my face because it just leaves everything so perfectly blended and I love how that looks. <laughs> Now I'm going to set my concealer with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and I avoid adding too much of it or else it gets too cakey on my skin. You can skip this step if you want to, but I'm using the Cover FX Moonstone Enhancer Drops to add more dewiness to the skin and of course an extra kick of highlight because who doesn't love a blinding highlight? Now I'm going in with the Soleil Tan de Chanel to contour and to bronze up my skin a little. And I love using cream products before I go in with the powder because it creates a more natural look on the skin. To set my foundation, I'm using the Hourglass Dim Light Powder. I love this powder because it gives a very luminous glow to the skin and it's sheer so it won't give any extra coverage, which I like. And for bronzer, I like using the Hourglass Radiant Light Powder. This is just a very natural bronzer. It makes you look like you just went out in the sun and got a little bit tan. For my blush, I'm going in with the Milani Luminoso blush. As you can tell by the name, it is very luminous, which is what we were going for. And now for my favorite part, I'm going in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Kit. I love these palettes so much. They're so buttery and so creamy. They blend so beautifully on the skin. They're not powdery at all. They're just perfection. I like to do this step every time I highlight. I just go over it with a damp beauty blender and this just makes it look less powdery and more dewy. So that's a trick that I love to do. And for my lips, I'm going in with Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Liquid Lipstick. So here's a finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!